So this is the model, pretty much finished as you can see. But uh, there are many elements that we perhaps need to go in and fine tune and finalize. Uh, one of which is pretty obvious. These legs here yeah, are way too uh, low poly. If I enable grow shading lines, you can see what I'm talking about. So let's uh, first of all start by just uh, fixing our hierarchy and getting things in the right order. So here we need to drop in a hypernerves for the legs. And uh, we need to add some weighting just uh, to this section right here. And I always like to have like a nice little live preview as I do this so you see exactly uh, what's going on. I'm just going to push this down a little bit also. Maybe just scale it out a little bit. Let's uh, put the phone angle to 25. And uh, that looks pretty good to me. Okay. Now, if you look on Bender, not only does he have these lines in his teeth, he's also got the same lines going around his legs and uh, arms. So for this, we could generate this using geometry, but I thought we could probably try it with uh, straight up another texture. Now, I have not practiced, practiced for this, so this is completely on the fly. So I'll go to the color. I'll choose a screen color and select this, this same bluish that uh, that's already on the body. So I want black lines going through this. So if I go to texture, I can go to effects, oops, nope, surfaces, which is uh, of course off screen. And uh, we want our tiles again. This is all off screen right now, but if you go to surfaces, you're going to find tiles. Okay, let's see if we can actually do this. Um, if I shut off all of this, i just bump this over here for now. I can select just this section of the arm and drop this material under there. Pretty nasty looking. Let's uh, set the projection mode to cubic. Okay, that looks uh, not entirely colossal. Let's uh, set this to, actually, you know what? We need this to be the screen color. In fact, no, 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 set them to white. And then set the tile color to white. The ground needs to be black, like uh, before. Grout with, we're going to go for 5%, bevel with 1%. Just like that. Let's go to the color here, and I will put the mix mode to multiply. So only the black is going to go through. Let's say enable hypernerves and enable our interactive render so we can see what's happening. I'm going to turn off specular for now so we can uh, much clearer see exactly what we're dealing with. Okay, maybe 10% on there. Now you can see we still have a grid pattern going on. So if we increase one of the scales right here, okay, it's the V scale we want to increase to like 500. Mm, okay, that's not, okay, there we go. It needs to go past 500 and uh, that will give us a nice uh, ring pattern going all the way around. Ah, so I can do this after all. Damn, I'm good. Okay. Um, we can maybe try to count how many of these there should be. I'm guessing we have right about the right number. Uh, there's like three, there's five on Bender's arm, so we need to adjust the other scale too. So if we go for one, two, five, oops, uh, 100 on the global scale and 700 on the V and one, two, five on here. 
And let's see, we still have too many. Let's go for 150. And uh, right about here looks pretty good. Uh, if we go back to this view, we can uh, re-enable specular. And uh, you can see it just kind of blends in with the rest of the object. And you can always create the same material without the grid and apply it to the rest of the object. If you're not sure, you're getting the same shade of gray per se. Let's uh, leave it just like this. And uh, this actually looks a lot better than I anticipated. So that's all good. Let's go to the legs. And, uh, same deal. Just uh, select those polygons. Apply the texture, uh, re enable everything, and see what we get. See, this is going in the other direction, you see. So, we may have to do a little rotating. Let's see if we can do it in the actual texture tag. If we go to coordinates, let's mess around with these. Put the pitch up to 90 degrees, that doesn't do anything. The banking also doesn't do anything. What about the heading? also doesn't do anything hmm interesting okay I think we need to set it to cubic first of all and then we may have uh, more luck so 90 on the heading nothing 90 on the pitch and huh, you know it's it's something alright but uh, still way off so I have an idea let's just duplicate that material let's, uh, apply it onto the leg make sure it's on cubic let's go in here and let's reverse these values basically so we'll have the v scale as 150 and the u scale as 750 and uh just like that we have it so as far as the texturing goes we are pretty much finished the other thing I was going to address in this section is this hatch. We need a more distinct edge to see where this opens up and closes and uh, so on. So what I'm going to do is to go to both the body and the hatch. Let's select everything. Uh, in fact, you know what, let's not select everything. I was going to select everything and just extrude inward and that would have given me an edge. But uh, what I'm going to do instead is... Um, bring this out uh, both the body and the hatch I do this sometimes where I group everything except for the shapes that I want and shut the rest off basically so we only have uh, what I'm working with on screen I'm gonna shut the body off just leave the hatch I'm gonna select the outside loop and it seems I can't get it with loop selection so I'm gonna have to just uh, do this old school if it uh, would kindly let me okay looking pretty good and let's see if we can extrude in that direction uh, let's use the proper extrude this time though in fact if we do that that's just gonna come out this way so we do want to eyeball this with the, the control key roughly to about here okay let's uh, bring the body back and uh, shut the hatch off and uh, we want to select this inner loop and again we're gonna have to do this uh, old-school Ah, man, they need to fix the way the loops work. I really don't want to have to eyeball this, this entire thing. Seriously, is there no way to do this? Huh, okay, okay, okay. Very well then, I will um, skip the video to when I have this entire thing selected. Okay, so about um, 20 minutes later, I managed to do the selection and uh, I'm gonna extrude in that direction so basically we just made two extrusions on the hatch and on the body and now um, if I get both of these and rebuild that hierarchy 
and uh, bring back everything and drop this into this hypernerves right here and re-enable it now you can see we have a nice edge going all the way around and that is exactly what we were trying to accomplish to accomplish um, from the beginning nice line going all the way around I've also noticed that um, these pads are not attached to the body completely so if we go to the arm here we need to deal with this if we just get uh, some of these points right here instead is down here we can bring them in And uh, I think we may be done. Just checking sure everything is in order. The whole model is uh, finished. And uh, yeah, thank you for joining me in this tutorial series on how to model Bender. I had fun making it and I hope you learned something new. And I will see you in the next tutorial series, which is completely open right now. If you have a cool idea that you would like me to do, let me know. Email, YouTube message, whatever, Facebook page, Twitter. Just let me know. And uh, you never know, I may do another series on based on one of you guys' ideas. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Oh, my God.